Welcome to a new video and a new series called How To Fortnite. What's up guys, it's Bravity. Welcome to another video and a new series called How To Fortnite, where I'm gonna take all the brand new players out there and attempt to make you guys a better player. Now, I'm not even close to a professional player. Skull Trooper just fucking obliterated me. I've just got a a bit of knowledge that I think I can share with you guys that I definitely wish I would have known when I first started playing Fortnite. So hopefully you guys get some knowledge out of this and can become a better player. And even if you guys are already good at Fortnite, you could still watch. I may have a way of doing things that you didn't think of that might work really well for you. So without further ado, let's get into the first part of this series, keybinds and your sensitivity what keybinds you should be setting, what keybinds work for certain players, and how to set your mouse sensitivity so you're able to hit shots much better. So we're gonna start with the keybind aspect. Also, I wanna mention that this first episode about keybinds and sensitivity is going to be geared towards PC players only, but once we get further down into the actual game mechanics and strategies when playing, that will apply to any platform you're playing on. But for this first video, this is going to be geared towards only PC players so let's get into it. So if you guys don't know how to change your keybinds, you're gonna click on the three lines up here, go to the settings cog, go to the four arrow keys over here, and you're at your keybinds. So let's get into changing them to what will work best for you. So these first couple should not change. Now you may think that's self-explanatory, but there are people out there that I know personally that have attempted to change basic keybinds that it's just not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. It'll hinder your play. You're not doing it to be different. You're not gonna be special. It's just gonna make you a worse player. So do not change these first basic keys, such as your moves. Those should always be WASD. That's how it's gonna be in every game, and that's how you need to get used to it. That is how you move when you PC game, WASD. Um, space being jump, that is another one that probably should not change. You need to keep that. That is just how it works in all games. Sprint is usually going to be on your left shift key and your pinky will constantly push it down. Your pinky will almost never move. It's just gonna hold down the shift bar. Currently, I have auto sprint on or sprint by default. If you guys would like to get into that, you go into the settings cog over here, scroll down, and you can hit sprint by default on. And I still am not used to moving my pinky off of the shift bar, so I currently have my sprint not bound to anything. So I can still keep my shift key pushed down, but I am technically sprinting by default. So uh, I'm, I'm trying to get used to that. Crouch is usually gonna be on C, but I find X a bit easier to hit, but around in that area, X and C is usually where your crouch is gonna be. Um, fire, another basic one that needs to stay where it is. I've seen people change it, I'm not kidding. I have seen people change it to the keyboard, don't do it. Fire is on your left mouse button, aim down sight or target is on your right mouse button. Keep those. Reload, by default it's on R, I, I like that. I think you should get used to that, it's a good keybind. U should be on E, this can change. I've seen a couple people change it, but I like E, so uh, just kind of mess around in the game to see what you like, but I definitely would recommend keeping that at E and get used to it. So now we get into a bit more important stuff, and that is weapon slot changing. If your hand is easily malleable and can hit all the number keys, I recommend you do that, but you are able to move uh, move those bindings around to be on different keys so that they're easily able to hit. The only thing I recommend here is that you don't get used to scrolling with the scroll wheel to change your weapons. That is a bad habit. I did that at the beginning and I thought it was gonna be good enough for me, but trust me, once you get to a higher level of play, that's not gonna work anymore. You need that immediate gun switching that's gonna be quick enough to make the plays that you need to. So I recommend immediately getting used to hitting the numbers or binding it to some letters that are out of the way that you're not using for other keys to get to your weapons quickly. The one thing I recommend you get to quickly is a shotgun. My weapon slot 2 is where I keep my shotguns, and I have that binded to M. Now that's not actually my M key on my keyboard, that's actually on my mouse, and that mouse button is binded to M. So I have a really quick way of getting to my shotgun, I just click with my thumb on my mouse and my shotgun comes out. I highly recommend you have a shotgun key that is very close and that you can hit in a quarter of a second. You need to be able to get your shotgun out very quickly. You need to get out every gun quickly, but start out with a really good shotgun key and learn that quickly. 
and then move on and uh, just make sure you're not using the scroll wheel. That's the big thing. So after the weapons, you're gonna notice there's a crouch while building. This keybind was made for PlayStation builders because it gets kind of funky when you're working on a controller. But for us PC guys, just make sure you bind that to the same crouch button that you do normally crouch it with. Um, that's going to be the best way to do it so that your crouch button is always the same. So C or X, mine X in this case because I think it's easier to hit. Now we move on to a huge aspect of Fortnite, building. These come stock on the F keys. F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, I believe. Get those out of there. Oh my God, get those out of there. They do not need to be on the F key. That's a horrible place for them. Please move them. Put them on the mouse, put them on the keyboard. I don't care, put half on the keyboard, half on the mouse. Does not matter, just get them off the F keys. I put them all on the mouse. I recommend starting on the mouse because that gives you more keys that you can put other things on on your keyboard. So you'll notice my building's on some strange keys, P-O-L-U-K. The reason they're on there is you'll notice on your keyboard, P-O-L-U-K are towards the right side of your keyboard. They're not gonna get anywhere near my keyboard hand, so I'm not gonna accidentally hit them. I just put them on keys out of the way and then bind those keys to my mouse. So I have the Logitech G502. It's the best gaming mouse, I think. I love it. I will never change until something better from Logitech comes out to replace this one, most likely. So my wall is here. My stairs are here. My flats are here. And my traps are here. Now, that's not a fantastic keybind on your mouse. I actually need to flip some things around to make it easier for me to build. But nevertheless, you need to get your building either onto your mouse or onto your keyboard. Once again, I recommend the mouse so that you can have more keys to put other things on on your keyboard. But just please get them off of the F keys. Do it immediately. Before you even play a single game, get them off the F keys. Then you have place building. That's how you place your floors, your flats, your roofs, your everything. That's just how you place your building. I recommend you leave that on the left mouse button. That's another one that shouldn't change. Um, repair and upgrade, that's how you repair your builds. I have that on G, it's just a nice key that can kind of be out of the way. Don't put that on one of your super easy access keys because uh, repairing is not a huge part of the game and when you're repairing you're most likely in a box or in a one by one and you can have time to look down for that key to hit it. So rotate building, that's on R, that's a pretty good one, same as reload, um, I have no problem with that. Change build material, right mouse button, no problem with that. Select building edit, that's when you're editing the little boxes you can select. I recommend left click again, that's default, um, once again, should not change. Reset building edit, that's how you can uh, reset all the boxes that you've selected when you're editing to make the build back to its uh, former glory. I recommend right mouse button, it's just another default that works really well. Uh, building edit, that one you need very close to you. Editing while building is a huge aspect of the game and I recommend you get used to it very quickly. So that needs to be one of your quick access keys. So you'll see F is super easy to hit with your index finger, just slide right over from D. So building edit being on F is a great key. Obviously this is all personal preference, but please make that an easy access key. Now here's a bit of a controversial key bind amongst my friends. Switch quick bar. This is how you switch between your building tab and your weapons tab. You don't need to use that if you're really good at switching to the weapons you have, but the only reason that I keep switch quick bar a thing is because if you're in building mode and you do not have any weapons in your slot, you have to think about, I have no weapons, and then you have to switch to your pickaxe. Or if you only have a weapon in a certain slot and you're on building, you have to physically think, where your weapon is in your slot, and then hit that button to go to your weapon to get out of your building. I prefer having a button that'll constantly take you out of building mode, no matter what weapons you have, no matter what slot is filled, and that just works for me. I have it on Q, I think it's a great key for that, but if you can get used to not having that, I do recommend it. Q is a very, very easy to hit key that could be useful for a lot of other things, but switch quick bar is a really nice key bind that I think a lot of people aren't taking advantage of. This is all personal preference, I'm just giving you what works for me, and switch quick bar is a, is a great key bind that I think is great. Next up we have slot up and slot down. That is for your weapon switching and your building switching using your scroll wheel. That's the thing I told you not to get used to. I still keep it bound for, for just reasons. I don't know why I don't use scrolling anymore and I recommend you get out of the habit of scrolling if you are scrolling. So if you're in a really bad habit, possibly cancel the binds. Make it to where the scroll wheel does nothing. That's a really good way to cancel that habit and get good quickly. So do whatever you want there. Vehicle exit, 
E, no big deal on that one. It's it's fine. That's a default. That works well. Change vehicle seat. This one's not a big deal either. I've just left it on the left control. Pretty sure that's the default. Uh, honk vehicle horn, not an important key bind. Right mouse is default. Um, shopping cart push. See, all this stuff is very basic. Uh, leave it on the default. It's not important. They've put it on good keys. Uh, yeah, put shopping cart push, space bar, ATK sl power slide, space bar, that's fine. Cursor mode's not important. Chat's really not too important. Emote, that's another one that's just, it's not an important keybind. Just put it on whatever feels comfortable for you. You want to be able to dance on people quickly, though. Make sure you put it on a key that you can hit really quickly, but not one of your crazy easy access keys that's going to it's gonna get in the way when you're fighting. Because the last thing you want to happen is you don't want to hit your emote tab while you're fighting. That's one of the biggest things to remember about your keybinds when it comes to your map, when it comes to your, your emotes. You need to have those easily accessible, but you don't want them so close to your, your other keys that you can hit them in the middle of a fight. That is how you get killed. Um, you can set certain keybinds to hit emotes immediately. I don't, I don't use that. You can use that if you want, but I do not. Um, repeat last emote, never used it before, still don't have it bound. Squad comms, never used it before, doesn't matter, I've left it normal. Toggle map's a big one, you want it to be kind of easily accessible, but if you're checking your map, you're most likely gonna be in a safe place, so you don't need it to be one of those, boom, like quick access, I need it right now keys. So I have it on T, I can easily stretch to it, that's an easy key for me to hit, but it's definitely out of the way, so I'd never accidentally hit it in a fight. Same with toggle inventory, tab, I move up with my pinky, or move over with my ring finger to hit my tab button to toggle my inventory. I never accidentally hit that, it's out of the way, but it's still easy access for when I need it, uh, when I'm in a safe, safe spot. And then push to talk, I use that sometimes if I'm doing random duos or something. I have it on Y right now, but that's actually mapped to another button on my mouse, so push to talk's another completely opinion-based uh, keybind, whatever feels comfortable for you, not an important one. Just uh, figure out figure out what works. So that's it for keybinds, guys. I hope you guys learned a little bit from it. The biggest things are don't scroll for your weapons. Get those on nice, easy access keys. My sniper's on Z. My SMG's on C. My shotgun's on my mouse. So just get those uh, burned into your brain so you can switch really quickly without scrolling. And then you're building. Get that off the F keys. God damn it, get that off the F keys. That's horrible. Put them on your mouse. Put them on your keyboard. Put them on both. Don't care. Um, um, just get your keybinds sorted out, play a couple games, change them, play a couple games, change them. Nothing is set in stone. But now, guys, we are going to move on to setting your sensitivity. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are in the settings tab for sensitivity. It's just a little cog up at the top. So if you're on a PC, I'm guessing you already have a comfortable DPI for actually just using the PC. So once you have your DPI set to whatever it is right now, you're good to go. Don't touch it. All your sensitivity for the game is going to be adjusted in game here. So under the input tab, you see you got mouse sensitivity X and Y. Some people like those to be different, but I've never seen a reason to have them different. So mine is the same and I have a pretty high DPI. So my mouse is at 0 0.03 sensitivity and my mouse scope sensitivity is at 0.95 sensitivity. So there's a couple ways to set your sensitivity. There's start too high and then bring it down or start low and bring it up. Both work really well, but I recommend starting high and bringing it down. The reason being, the higher the sensitivity you can be used to and be comfortable with, the better. The quicker you can whip around and do the flick shots with your shotgun, the better you're gonna be. So if you set a high sensitivity and start to get used to that and then bring it down when you need to bring it down, I think you're gonna end up at an overall higher sensitivity than you would if you started low and brought it up. So I definitely recommend start higher than usual, start really high, maybe I would start with like 0.1 or 0 0.08 or something like that, and then bring it down as you need to, to uh, the, the sensitivity when you're hitting those headshots. So we're gonna jump into a game and I'm gonna show you guys how you check for your sensitivity. All right guys, here we are in the middle of nowhere in Fatal Fields, in a match, I've got some weapons, I've got some mats, and we are going to go over how you set your sensitivity. So the first thing you want to make sure you can do, your sensitivity needs to be high enough so that with the size of your mouse pad, in one swipe, you can do a 360 for a one by one. So if you prefer a low sensitivity, just make sure with your low sensitivity, you can do that with the size of your mouse pad. Just check if you can swipe one time, and do a full 360 to place all your walls. 
because you do not want to be picking up your mouse when you're in the middle of a game. You want to be just swiping back and forth, all fluid on your mouse pad. So you need to make sure you have a full range of motion without picking up your mouse once. That is the first thing you need to check for your sensitivity. So once you get that set down, then you can start working on your actual shooting. So you can jump into playground and you can test flick shots at bushes like that and just make sure that you're hitting on bushes or flick shot this tree just like that or flick shot that rock. Just little things like that. Just jump around shooting bushes and all kinds of things like that with your shotgun. Just get comfortable with your sensitivity. But once you start to learn your sensitivity a little bit, get out of playground, go play some matches. You're gonna die, you're gonna die a lot. But here's how you set your sensitivity. Record your gameplay or go into replay mode and then watch your gameplay when you're shooting someone. And what you're gonna see is if somebody's running, like let's say this green bush here, somebody running, you're gonna notice that you're trailing behind them or you're in front of them with their running. So if they're running across and you're trying to track them like this, you're gonna notice that you're trailing behind them or in front of them. If you're behind them, up your sensitivity by like 0.1. If you're in front of them, lower it by like 0.1. If you're right on them or pretty close to right on them, just leave it and see if you can get used to that. But that is how you check sensitivity. If this green bush right here is a person and you're running and you land on them, your sensitivity is golden. If this bush here is a person and you go over like that, your sensitivity come down 0.1. If you undershoot it like that, if that bush is a person, undershoot it, go up by 0.1. So only way to check your sensitivity is to rewatch your gameplay and see where your cursor is going. It's very hard to tell in game. You need to go back and rewatch and then analyze it there and you'll notice, oh my God, I'm missing all my shots ahead of them or I'm missing all my shots just right behind them. That's how you know how to set your sensitivity. Just please rewatch your gameplay and you'll learn how to set it. And then once you start tweaking that sensitivity by a little bit, you're gonna start watching your replays again. And if that bush is a person, you're gonna see that you just land on the bush, just like that. I'm used to my sensitivity. So if that person's a bush right there, you just land on the bush or really damn close. And then the balloon will take care of it. But make sure you're hitting those bodies. Make sure you're not overshooting or undershooting. Just watch your replays and you will get better at setting your sensitivity. All right guys, and here's my quick tip for this video. Back when I was talking about keybinds and I said you need to get your shotgun out quickly and your SMG out quickly and your sniper out quickly. How you do that is in game, you need to have a very specific loadout that you get used to. As you can see down in my weapons, I have my AR, in my slot two, I have my shotgun in my slot three, I have an SMG in my slot four, and I have a sniper in my slot five. My healing then goes in slot six, and that's how I will always run my setup when I have those weapons. Reason being, I know how to quickly switch to my shotgun by hitting the button on my mouse. I know how to switch to my sniper by hitting Z. I know how to switch my SMG by hitting C, and I know how to switch my AR by hitting two. I can hit those very quickly without scrolling at all. So if I start getting uh, launched on or if I get built up on, I can easily protect myself and then switch to a shotgun just like that. You need to learn how to instantly switch to your weapons and get that ingrained into your head so that you can kill people. So make sure your loadout stays the exact same, make that muscle memory, because that is how you're gonna win gunfights. You're gonna need to be able to know AR now, shotgun now, sniper now, SMG now. You need to shotgun and then SMG some people. So the way you do that is learn a nice loadout to keep your guns in and then set your keybinds so that you remember this button means this gun, this button means this gun. In the middle of a fight, you can't be looking around at what guns you have. You need to know always. All right, guys, that's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you tune in for another episode of How To Fortnite. I know it might have been a little bit bland, but I promise it's going to get better, and I really want to help you guys get better at the game when you're brand new to it, and it's going to take these boring videos to do so. So make sure you subscribe and like the video and tune in for some other videos I'm going to be posting when we have a bit more fun in playground mode and get some dubs. So... I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you later, and go out there and win some games.